ePlan's motto was always efficient engineering. When we look at ePlan, we look at a bunch of solutions for different industries. Uh, so the solution I'm going to be showing you today is how can we help the panel builder be faster and more efficient. Let's come back to ePlan. So to start with, I'm going to start a project here with the Cogineer, newest tool, a configurator that actually allows me to configure based on a few questions here the project. So technically once this has been generated here by pushing on the generate button, you get a project that will be fabricated out of uh, all these macros blocks that have been created previously. So here now we look at the project, the finished project that has of course individual schematics. Each of these schematics comes with symbols, devices and parts. Each of these parts originally came from the data portal. So we picked a part here from the data portal. All the commercial information is there. Um, and the dimensional information is also here, right? So we know the components themselves. What we also do is in ePlan, we have what we call a structure. This structure enables us to group uh, every component by its mounting location. So where is it actually physically placed? Is it in enclosure one? Is it in enclosure two? So when you look at every single component, we have that information. This will serve us in the next step because of course you generate reports with ePlan. We all know about these reports, right? It's one menu here, generate project reports, and boom, you get general reports, global reports um, that can be uh, used either by the purchasing department to buy the parts, uh, by the electricians on the shop floor, but we can help them organize it a little bit. So the first one, of course, is the bill of material that is interesting because we have here all the devices summarized together so we can actually buy them. We even have some additional overview pages, links to some Rockwell literature that is available there or catalog information that is available. So this is all stuff that ePlan standard out of the box can produce. Now, what I'm interested in is help the guy that will be working on the shop floor in the first portion, which is called here kitting. So I typed in kitting on on, on a search engine, and this really describes it. It's picking from the inventory some kits, build them together, give them to production, to assembly, so they don't have to uh, sort out which component goes where. So remember in ePlan we had these parts, they're all associated with some parts. So here I have grouped my parts in different kits, one for enclosure number one, one for enclosure number two different parts, different cables, so that the, the guy from the shop floor can actually go up and put together some kits. How did I achieve this? Simply by going in here where our reports are defined and for the first step here which is the kitting, I actually activated the page sorting to sort pages by mounting location. So I get a new mounting location for each individual mounting location that has been assigned and this is how I help the kitting step. So looking back here at this efficient engineering loop, the first step kitting is now described and we could help him be more efficient.